Hey everybody, it's Ali Flores with OrlandoVacation.com. It's raining. Guess I can't go to theme parks. It's raining. That's not true. You still can. Rainy days at Disney is still a possibility. You can still have a great time. So you're wanting to go to Disney, but you're worried. What if it rains at Disney World? No problem. We're going to go over some tips and tricks to help you plan your day around the uncertainty, depending on what parks you're going to. First off, know before you go. Once you have a date planned out that you're wanting to go to the parks and it's close enough to check, look up the weather for your day. If it's supposed to be rain all day and you're able to be flexible on which day you go, try adjusting your date to one with better weather. If you're unable to adjust your dates, we suggest keeping an eye on the weather so you can plan your day accordingly. Check the day before the morning of your trip to see if anything changes. Try to remain flexible with plans when possible. Here's another good tip. Find and download any weather app ahead of time. Like there's so many of them, like this one, and this one, and that one. So many of them that you can have on your phone readily available. This way, you have it on your device so you can either get updates or check throughout the day. Florida weather comes and goes and changes all the time whenever it wants to, okay? There is no predicting it. The weathermen here are just guessing. It's Florida rain. It shows up when it's got a constant Uber to the theme park. Just be prepared. So it's important to keep yourself updated so you can make the most of your day. Now, the majority of rain showers tend to happen in the afternoon. Planning around this can help. Maybe taking a later lunch around the time it's forecasted to rain can help save you some time that would have been spent waiting the weather out. While not all restaurants require reservations, try to make a reservation around the time it's supposed to be raining when possible. Now, depending on the time of year, rain showers can be pretty intense. Most of our common showers tend to only last 30 to 45 minutes, so try to wait them out when possible. Quite often, guests will see the rain clouds come in and head back to their hotel rooms. So crowds tend to dwindle after afternoon showers. We suggest checking the weather forecast during the rain and waiting at least 30 minutes before deciding if you should leave the parks. You might be happy you stayed. Here's another good tip. Once you have those weather apps, they have up-to-date radars. So you can actually see where the rain is going. So if it looks like you got a green blob here and you're right here, that green blob, people are starting to go back to their hotel rooms going, it's raining, I'm gonna melt, I'm made of sugar. You go, it's stopping in seven minutes. Bye, Felicia. Get on any ride you want because everyone was too scared and not smart enough to check their weather apps. Okay, now let's get, uh, let's start going more park specific. If it starts raining at the Magic Kingdom, what do you do? First off, as previously mentioned, try to get some food during this time. Most restaurants are located indoors and this will not only keep you dry, but fill you up without losing too much time. It's important to note that reservations are encouraged but not required at most locations. We highly recommend reserving when possible so you don't get caught up in the lines of other guests trying to do the same thing. Some indoor restaurants that we recommend at Magic Kingdom are Be Our Guest, Cinderella's Royal Table, and the Crystal Palace. Magic Kingdom also has other options available for dining just in case your other reservations have filled up. Magic Kingdom also has Jungle Navigation, Co. LTD, Skipper Canteen, Liberty Tree Tavern, Pinocchio Village House, The Plaza Restaurant, and Tony's Town Square. This gives plenty of options to dine while it rains to help save on time. When it's raining, a lot of rides at Magic Kingdom can close down depending on lightning. Some of the rides that end up closing are Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, Jungle Cruise, Magic Carpets of Aladdin, and Dumbo the Flying Elephant. Depending on the weather, boat rides tend to close too for safety reasons. If you're worried about weather conditions later on, it's important to knock out some of those rides beforehand so you don't miss them. Now, not all the rides at Magic Kingdom close during the rain. Only the outdoor ones, typically. Some indoor rides that will stay open will be Pirates of the Caribbean, The Haunted Mansion, and Mickey's PhilharMagic. Mickey's PhilharMagic is a 12 minute long indoor show following classic Disney characters that can help pass the time while waiting for the weather to clear up. Another show that you might consider doing if it's projected to rain is the Hall of Presidents. This show is 22 minutes long. It tells the story of the nation's founding, and if this doesn't interest you, we think it's at least a good option to catch up on some much needed rest during the rain, regardless. And finally, 
Carousel of Progress. This show is 21 minutes long and offers guests some insight into how electricity and technology has advanced over the years. All right, let's talk about rain over at Hollywood Studios. What do we do there if it starts raining? Now, most rides are still up and running at Hollywood Studios, even in the rain. All of the Star Wars area is mostly unaffected by the rain, aside from the outdoor shows, if this is something you're coming to Hollywood Studios for. Guests are still able to ride all three Star Wars themed attractions, though you might end up getting wet going from attraction to attraction. And guests can dine inside either Docking Bay 7 food and cargo, or get a drink from Oga's Cantina during the rain too. Hollywood Studios Slinky Dog Dash is an outdoor ride and is unfortunately affected by weather, along with alien swirling saucers. For this reason, we do recommend going to Toy Story Land when it's not raining so you can still experience these attractions. On the other side of the park, guests can still experience Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror, though there's not much covering when heading over there, so it might be best to wait out the weather in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Epcot. It's raining at Epcot. Epcot's probably the best part to be when it's raining, and that's solely because they actually only shut down one ride when it's raining. Anybody guess? Any guesses? Nope, not that one. Ooh, close, no. Test track, exactly. All of Epcot's other rides are indoors and aren't affected by the weather. This also means that if it does start raining, not everyone is going to the same few places that are still open. The only downside at Epcot is that they have an open park layout especially around World Showcase. So if you're in the World Showcase area, you're probably going to get wet, unless you're hunkered down until weather passes. The best place to be at Epcot, hands down, is probably going to be the Land Pavilion. In this area, there are three different rides, plus there are two different restaurants inside the land as well. The land is home to the attraction Soarin', Circle of Life, and Living with the Land. It's also home to the Garden Grill and Sunshine Seasons. This makes the land a one-stop shop when it comes to attractions and dining. The best part is, you're inside the entire time, so there's no risk of getting rained on. Now, I mentioned this earlier. The only ride that shuts down during bad weather is Test Track. So be sure to do this early on in the day or when it's not raining so you don't miss out. Because the land is going to be the best place to be during the rain, we recommend planning your day so that you're in that area when it starts raining. As always, keep a weather app handy so you can stay updated throughout the day. All right, Animal Kingdom, my favorite personally. Considering Animal Kingdom is the largest of the parks and is predominantly outside, we recommend staying away from Animal Kingdom if it's going to be a rainy day at the parks. Or plan part of the day when it's not supposed to be raining at Animal Kingdom. While there are sheltered areas if it does rain at the park, you can expect to get caught up in it until the weather passes. Worst case scenario, Animal Kingdom does have a few indoor attractions to help keep you covered if it rains. It's Tough to Be a Bug is an indoor show that lasts about nine minutes that involves the cast of A Bug's Life. Be warned, the queue line for this ride is mostly outside, so you might get a little wet waiting for it. There are two other ride options in Pandora, the world of Avatar. Avatar Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey. Both rides are indoors and the queue lines are covered too, for the most part. You will need to walk outside to get to each ride, however, so again, you might get a little wet. The other ride option is on the other side of the park in Dino Land, USA, called Dinosaur. And go figure, it's a good place for it. This queue line is covered to an extent, but getting there will definitely get you soaked because the places for shelter are few and far between. Okay, overall, staying at the Pandora area is probably gonna be the best bet. You can ride those two rides there and maybe get some food at Satula Canteen or going to Animal Kingdom when the weather is a bit better. All right, what do you wanna pack? Definitely bring a raincoat. It's Florida. It's gonna rain at some point. So bringing a raincoat can help keep you dry during the day. Fast drying clothes, definitely bring that. Wearing lightweight clothing that dries fast can help keep you going through the day versus wearing heavy clothes that might become uncomfortable when wet. Uh, waterproof or water resistant shoes, very important. You're gonna be walking a lot, okay? So you don't want your feet to get soaked, your socks to get soaked, then you start getting blisters, your feet are gonna smell, you get to the hotel, you take off your shoes, everyone runs back outside, it's just awful. Ponchos and umbrellas. Okay, umbrellas are a must. Um, here's a little tip from me to you. 
Try to get the, the umbrellas that aren't gonna take up too much space. There's a lot of people in the streets for your umbrella. So you might want something maybe a little individual or for two people, but those big umbrellas are gonna be hard to get around the parks if there are a lot of people there. Make sure you pack up a poncho, okay? Ponchos are a must because they're lightweight, it's quick, it's easy, and if you don't have a poncho, don't worry. They sell them at like every kiosk there at the Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, uh, any one of the parks, honestly. Um, now here's what you think. If you're like me, I like to wear my ears when I'm out at Disney, you know, dress the part. But if you wear a poncho with the hood, you can't see the ears. What do you do? Like, man, I got these awesome poncho ears. Look at that, slimming. I know. <laughs> so what do you do in that case? Check this out. Some amazing people have invented something called ponch ear, okay? It's a poncho that can go over your ears, like this. Switch. Yeah, this is awesome. This is one of the best inventions. Oh my goodness. If you love going to Disney, you love wearing your ears, you don't want to get wet, you don't want your awesome ears to get wet either, this is called the Ponch Ear. All right? Some amazing and genius people invented this so that you could still show off your ears while you're taking pictures and it's raining. All you got to do is go to ponchear.co, P O N C H E A R.co and order your very own ponch ear. Guess what, we have an exclusive. You know, don't tell anybody. You can get a 25% discount as long as you use our discount code, which is Orlando Vacay. O-R-L-A-N-D-O-V-A-C-A. -A. There's no Y. And that's gonna get you 25% off your very own set of ponch ears, okay? They ship internationally. They have adult sizes and child sizes. This is a game changer, people. It's raining, but you're still fashionable. Look at, it's slimming, kind of. If I suck it in, and maybe get a belt and we can cinch it. Some, I don't know, just get it. It's amazing. These are so cool. Sandwich bags. You always want to bring sandwich bags, not just for your sandwiches. If it starts to rain really heavy, guess what? You got electronics in your pockets. You got cameras, you got cell phones. A sandwich bag, a Ziploc bag is great for, for protecting all of those electronics. All right, so if you're looking for more tips and tricks for your next Orlando vacation or need help planning, be sure to check out our website at orlandovacation.com where we offer the best discounted prices and have a variety of blogs to help you make the most out of your Orlando vacation. And as always, click that link and subscribe and hit the notifications so you get notified when we put up another video. Thanks again for watching. We will see you here in Orlando. Bye-bye.